Getting started is often the most difficult part of studying. Hi, I'm Raksha Kutnikar, here to help you get started with your preparation for CS exams. First, assess the previous year question papers, talk to your seniors, talk to your teachers and gain that understanding of how you should start your preparation. Which are the topics that you need to put your efforts into and which are those topics where you have to be a pro where you cannot miss out on those topics. So understand all this and then start your preparation. Second, develop a mindset to not skip any chapter. Our syllabus is so voluminous, it is so intimidating that you feel like skipping a few chapters. Please understand that you need only around 50% of marks to clear along with the aggregate, right? So more than 60% of your syllabus is usually easy. It is that 40% which is going to make you crib, make you feel difficult and which should make you put extra efforts. So do not skip any chapter. Maybe you might be unlucky and uh, those chapters might be asked for much more than what you expect. So make sure to cover every part, every topic of your syllabus. Third, make simplified notes. When you study for the first time, you have the luxury of time. You take all the time in the world to study one chapter, right? Please remember, you will never get this time back to study this all over again. You have eight subjects to go, so many topics, so many subjects. You will never be able to give that topic, that chapter as much importance as you're giving it now. So when you're studying it for the first time, make sure you make your own notes. I know it could be time consuming, it is difficult, but you have to prepare yourself for, for one day before the exam. One day before the exam, you might hardly get around 10 to 12 hours to go and face the exam. So along with your studies, you need to be preparing yourself. How am I going to concise this for one day before exam? If I'm going to get only 10 hours to study this entire big volume, how am I going to study? The whole point boils down to one thing, how are you going to cover that voluminous syllabus one day before the exam because that is what you actually remember and you'll be able to write in the exam. This is one thing which I'm sure most of you all don't do, that is making voice notes. When you're studying, you usually get tired. When you're sitting in one place and reading such voluminous books, you get tired. When you make voice notes of the most important topics, those crisp topics and uh, everything that requires higher retention, memory power, like those timelines, those dates, those section numbers and what not. You need to remember a ton of things before exam, right? So make sure you make a very crisp voice note of maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes where you're walking or eating food or just on those times where you don't feel like studying. Just put your earphones and your and you're good to go. One more secret mantra of most toppers is giving mock tests. If you do not give mock tests before the exam, your main exam is going to turn out into a mock test. And you don't want that for sure, right? So I suggest prepare yourself enough to give minimum of two mock tests. One, see, most students do not give a mock saying that they haven't covered the entire syllabus. So how will they even attempt? So they are bound to fail in the exam. Right, But if you schedule your mock tests properly, at least for the sake of giving that exam, you will get much more done than you ever think of. No problem if you fail in your mock tests. Nobody is going to judge you. But if you fail in your main exams, I'm sure there are a lot of people who are going to put you down and you are also going to lose that confidence that you have for yourself. So make sure to write that mock test, assess yourself, and make a mistake book. Where have you gone wrong? What is it that you need more time? Maybe for a 20 marks sum, maybe like maybe a eight or 10 marks uh, answer, you're taking much more time than you should actually be taking, right? So these are the points where you have to assess yourself and see where you're going wrong and improve on your next study round. So to summarize, I would say first assess, Second, develop a mindset not to skip any chapter. Third, make voice notes. Fourth, make simplified own handwritten notes. And fifth, give mock tests. So these are very simple 
yet effective five points to help you get started with your preparation. I hope your preparation is going to skyrocket from here. All the best. Do well.